Hello, how's everyone doing? This is Neil from MasterEdit and DigitalCanvas.net16.net and you can check the link out there on the, on the description, the Digital Canvas link, and I have tons of other free videos there linked up. I just updated the site and so I have a lot more free videos there linked up teaching how to draw and how to do um, photo manipulation and digital painting. In this video series I'm going to do animating for the game I'm working on now. And I'm just going to show what I have here so far. It's uh, you know nothing special yet because it's you know not really an explosion yet, and I'm really zoomed in. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this though and start over. What happened was I accidentally went too far in the last video I made. Okay, first I'm going to start by opening my ship. Player blue. I'm going to copy this frame right here that I want just by putting the R key around it and grabbing the uh, arrow tool up here and then just dragging it and dropping it there. Go ahead and close that. Don't save it. Open this. Drag him on his own layer. View actual pixels. Put him in the center. And I'm working at, uh, here's the image size. I'm working at 500 by 500, 300 dpi. I always work at 300 dpi, so, because I just like the way my brushes feel. <clears throat> Even if I'm going to be saving it for 72, I always work at higher resolution. Now I'm going to make another layer on top of this ship layer before I get started, and also I'm going to go to Window and Open Animation. That opens this animation bar down here at the bottom, and I can always, you know, go like that to make it go up and down. So I'll work on the first frame, which is going to just be the ship, and then, so I, I don't want that layer visible, and then the second layer is going to be this part part of the explosion. I'm going to zoom way in, before I can make sure I get it. My brush size is going to be a one pixel with nothing set. I'll show you the brush settings over here. Nothing is set except for smoothing, and for working with small things like this is going to be best. I'm not going to do pixel art like I did for the ship. I'm not going to use the pencil brush for an explosion no need to do that. This will look actually cooler, I think. And I probably want to keep this somewhere, I don't know where, kind of out of view, but I don't know. I guess I'll just keep it right here for right now. And then I can always move it when I need to. But I need to see like how much time I have, because I'm having to do this again, because last time I went over time, and I hate having to, um, you know, process the videos. It takes, it takes too much time to, like, crop out a little piece, whatever. So I think I'm going to make the explosion, um, I guess I'll go with yellow. Okay, and I'm going to start with the middle of the explosion, and so this is the game I'm working on now, is this uh, top-down shooter, dual stick shooter, uh, kind of a mix between a lot of games, but the gameplay is going to be unique and cool, but it kind of has elements of Robotron, Geometry Wars, and uh, Smash TV. It's going to have some boss fights, it's going to have a lot of levels, it's going to be cool. And I have to put the Ninja Chick game on hold uh, while I do this one because I'm still working on the artwork and everything with the Ninja Chick game and it's still going to be developed but it's going to be longer than I thought before it hits Xbox Live. This one should hit Xbox Live in five months or so and depending on how this one does and everything I can have the other one. There's my programmer dude that just PM me. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to uh, see here. I'm going to set this frame to 5 second, 0.5 seconds, and this one's going to be set to 1 second. And I can kind of, you know, watch that first little frame there. Now, here's a little trick that I had to figure out on my own, and, and you know, it's kind of difficult to, uh, okay, hold on a second, I'm going to pause this. Okay, I'm back. I mean, I'm sure to you guys it was instantaneous, but for me, uh, it was a while, because I was talking to the programmer about the uh, bullet hits the effects for the bolt hits. It looks really cool now. We got something that looks really cool. It's looking neato. Alright, so what I was saying, um, if I remember correctly, was that when you make a new frame and then you want to like make a new layer it, and then you draw on that layer, it'll add that layer to all the other frames unless you do this. And I had to figure this out on my own and it was like really annoying figuring it out. I almost like stopped using this animator thing because of it. But anyways, I want to share it with you before you don't give up on it because it's really cool and worth using. 
So what you do here then is after you have your two frames you want to work on the next frame is you click on the frames and I have a frame here, this new button here, just like the new button for the layer. And then uh, let's say I wanted to copy this layer here. Now watch what happens when I go back to these other layers. It copies that frame to all the layers or that layer to all the frames. So how, how to prevent that then is simply unchecking the frames you don't want to show up in all the other frames and if you didn't want the ship to show up in the other frames you'd uncheck it too but I do want the ship to show up in the other frames because it was already there then click on this middle button here for under 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 the unify click it once and you'll get a message most likely turn that message off by default because it's really annoying having to click that each and every time then click this button again now it's off now you'll notice that the um, it's not on all the frames it's only on you know these frames. Now you can turn it back on this frame if you want. And I'm going to start to alter it now by adding some warmer color here to the uh, part here that's going to be spreading out throughout the ship. This is going to be like um, and I'll add some red too. Just a little bit here and there. And add a little bit of yellow. So this is all going to be happening really fast on the animation, so it probably even happened faster than that. I'm going to zoom out just to kind of get a look, see what I like and don't like. Okay. Also, I can, you know, test out what would it look like if there was, you know, slight like this and stuff. But what I'm definitely going to do most likely here, at least on this frame, is I'm going to copy this layer by dragging it down to here. I have to do that same thing again, but it's just real quick that way I know it won't copy. I'm going to turn this to uh, hard light, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm just going to blur it by a little bit, not much, like so a little bit less. I can see that looks like turned off and on. Cool. That'll make a difference once I start getting to, you know, the spreading out of everything. Make another frame, and I know I'm going to want to copy uh, the ship layer on that frame. And let's see here, I think. Yeah, I won't copy any of that. Just the ship, so... Then I'll add my own. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that I did that right. Okay. I'm gonna start cutting the ship little pieces by just using the selection tool, then the free transform, and just kind of moving the pieces a little bit. And I want to, you know, take my time with the animation. That not take my time doing it. I want to take my time with how much everything moves, since it's gonna play really fast. You know, you don't want to do too. You know, you don't want to do too big of leaps in your animation. Otherwise, you know, it looks kind of um, what's it looks kind of jolty. You know, like like a movie that has missing frames. But you can skip a lot of frames when you're doing you know animation because it'll still read to the human eye. I'm just gonna, you know, just kind of move little pieces of the ship here and there. Kind of turn that. All right, so there we go. And then I'm gonna add uh, red for there's some, you know, still some explosion happening. I'm just about out of time, so please visit the website for other free videos in the description. And leave a comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. If you like the animation tutorial or not. And add a little bit of orange. And I'm going to start adding little dots. This will be my animation for the explosion, which is going to be kind of a firework explosion, like used in Geometry Wars. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Okay, come back for the next part.